Hello, how are you? It's springtime here in Australia. And when we say spring, it usually means hay fever season, allergy season. Talking about allergies, we Filipinos have had two meanings for the word allergic. The first one is a literal meaning wherein our bodies react to certain medicines, food, or some materials. But the second one is more of an idiomatic expression wherein we repel things that we dislike. Hi, my name is Brother Pio and welcome to Repu Lections. Today, let us talk about allergies. What are you allergic to? Hi everyone, this is Reki Vega and I am allergic to cabbage. Hi, my name is Ken and uh, I'm allergic to penicillin. Hi, I'm Glenda. I'm allergic to crustaceans and also to pollens. Hi, it's Nancy here. I had an allergic reaction with Ponstan or mefenamic acid before. Hi, I'm Joyce and I'm allergic to fragrance. And also, I'm allergic to utang. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack Cordetta. I have no known allergies in terms of food and drugs. But one thing for sure, I'm allergic to I am grateful to my friend for allowing me to share her story. You see, she's a Filipina who got married to an Australian. Months after their wedding, she was finally flying to Australia. But instead of fetching her from the Philippines, her husband decided that she will fly alone, but on first-class seat, so that she will be taken care of, have enough food, and will have good rest on an eight-hour flight. But when she landed here in Australia, her husband was shot because she was craving big time that she can eat a whole McDonald's restaurant. <laughs> the reason for that was that my friend was actually used to the budget airlines wherein we pay for the food that we eat. And looking that this is a big play that she is stepping on, she thought of a strategy so that she don't have to pay because she doesn't have enough money. When the stewardess came with a welcome drink, she said, thank you. I'm good. A few minutes after the stewardess came with the appetizers and she said, thank you, I'm allergic to it. The mains came, we got some steak, some crabs, and this time she was craving for it. But then she has to stick to the plan and she told the stewardess, thank you, I am allergic to it. She flew on first class, but she had an empty stomach. Friends, in the same way, you and I are also flying in this journey called life on first class seat. How do I know this? Well, I believe that God's mercy, love, and blessings are surrounding us. We are embraced by miracles. But just like the husband of my friend, we also ask ourselves, if blessings, graces, and mercies are around us, then why do we still feel lacking? Why do we still feel unloved? Why do we lack growth? Why do we lack success? There are many reasons for this, but I would like to focus on two. The first one is that we feel that we are not worthy of the blessings and the graces. Just like my friend, we think that we cannot afford what is being given to us. The second reason is that we do not know how to receive these blessings into our lives. And if there is one thing that's hindering us from receiving this, it is one allergy, and it is the allergy of things, which I call CPR. We are allergic to challenges. We are allergic to problems. We are allergic to responsibilities. We want to stay comfortable. And fortunately, friends, success and growth is outside our comfort zone. Come to think of it, most if not all of the successful people are either problem solvers or responsibility takers. I've just recently chatted with Chef Michael Tatong Sarto and he told me how astronomical his schedule is. He's trying to beat the deadline of the launch of two books. He's also just released an album of some music that he wrote for reflection. Of course, there is his regular cooking vlog called Simple and he also manages his restaurant. But I told him, yes, Mike, it may be astronomical, but you are also achieving things which are out of this world. You are blessing people like me who don't know how to cook, but have now learned how to cook our favorite dishes in a simple way. You've blessed us by raising the culinary culture of the Philippines with your books. And you've blessed every palate with every meal that you are serving. Friends, 
this week, let us work together. Let us pray that we can overcome our allergies for CPR. And I have the best solution, the best prophylaxis, the cure for it. And that is God's love. Yes, God's love. Let us remember that you and I are loved by God. So that the next time that a problem or a challenge would come our way, or somehow a massive responsibility is given to us, let us not veer away from it. Instead, let us look it in the eye, let's tackle it, and let's declare, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. For God is my refuge, and He is the strength of my heart. May you have an awesome week ahead. God bless, take care, and see you on the next Repulections.